If you are playing Hitman 3 on Epic Games, Steam or Xbox for PC, you could have mods that change the way the game looks and plays. And the setup only takes a few minutes and requires no prior knowledge about modding. The first thing we need is a free account on nexusmods.com. From here we can get all kinds of mods for the game, and one mod in particular, the Simple Mod Framework, a mod manager to install and uninstall mods with only a few clicks. First we go to Files, then to Download. It may give you a warning, but you can simply ignore that. And as you can see, the Simple Mod Framework automatically finds the Hitman 3 folder. Then hit Install, and believe it or not, that's everything. For the Microsoft version, however, you have to find the install location yourself. Go to your Games folder, then the Hitman 3 base game and finally Content. Select that and install. If you now look at your Hitman 3 folder, you can see that the Simple Mod Framework is properly installed. And if you don't know where you have the game installed, all launchers give you an option to search the folder location. Now you can add the shortcut to your desktop and start the application. You will see this question the first time, just say yes. And now we are in the main menu, where updates for your mods or the framework itself will show up. It's recommended to always do the updates, and keep in mind that the framework will always need an update to work for new versions of the game. But we are fully up to date, so let me show you the one function you will need the most, and that is enable and disable mods. Only thing we're missing now are the mods themselves, so let's head back to Nexus mods to fill this up. Alright, the first one I want is the time of day mod. And if we look at the description, it already tells us to use the simple mod framework. So let's just head to files and download that one. Back on this page, we click on add a mod and import our download. Next one is a mod to replace 47 with Diana. But what's interesting here, it shows us a way to install this without the framework. Let's head to files anyway, and we even have a few options which suit should be used for the replacement. So let's just take this one. If we import that, we can give the mod a name. So let's say what it does and which suit is getting replaced. But don't use any special characters or things will break. Now we have this one, a custom made bonus mission. Once again requires the simple mod framework, but also, this one only works in offline mode. That's always something to look out for so we aren't left wondering why a mod doesn't work. These examples have now covered how most your mod downloads will look like, but of course, there are exceptions. Let's look at this one for instance. If we download this, we can see it's a.rar file and we can't import those directly. We have to use something like 7-zip to extract the content, then we can use it as normal. But also, after we give the name, we have to now select a chunk. When you have a mod to change your appearance, it's chunk 0. In some cases, you might get this warning. Just click on it and you're good to go. And lastly, some mods are simply outdated and won't work, so always check the description and the post section if you're looking at older mods. With our selection complete, let's enable them. Many will also come with additional settings to choose from, and when everything is selected, just hit apply. When you apply mods, you will often get warnings like this, but these are only meant for the mod creator and can basically be ignored. Checking in-game, we now have a new time of day, a playable Diana, and if we go into offline mode, either by disconnecting the internet or opting out of the privacy options, we even have our custom mission. Back in the mod manager, if you don't want a mod to be active at the moment, disable them and hit apply again. And we can even delete them if they are no longer needed. If a deployment fails, then a mod is not working. Either check the deployment log or test out each mod separately to find the issue. And if you get stuck without moving for multiple minutes, perhaps disable a mod or two and try again. And in very rare cases, deleting a mod gets stuck forever. So you would have to come to the simple mod framework folder, go to mods and delete the mod in question. If you want to uninstall the simple mod framework, make sure all mods are disabled, then hit apply and after that, delete the simple mod framework folder. There is one thing I haven't talked about and that's how some mods will mention Peacock. It's a way to play offline mods with online features enabled, but you also get access to many other great benefits. That, and many other ways to mod the game, like how to get this free cam, is covered in other guides, all linked down below.